week for another episode of Foodies and Spice French Fusion Season 6. And thank you so much for all of our support, for all of our plenty likes and our follow on top at Ginamo and at Foodies and Spice for Twitter. I truly, truly appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go still work out for the streets of Bondo again today. And today, where will they go? Will they go La Fabrique? Yes, La Fabrique now. Chef Manu, now you get the place of Chef Emmanuel. And um, you get bakery. And he's making so much money from bakery. Over 1,000 bread now they sell every day for instance. Seemingly small bakery if you ask me, but over 1,000 bread now they sell in a day and everything comes with bread. And of course, Chef Manuel tell me, say, not be only this bakery in Sabi or how to bake now in Sabi do, they also Sabi cook better branded swagged up kitchen just like us we go see. And of course, me self ready for Ramon as he don't show me own swag, I won't come back here and repeat my own swag. So before I go come back, I go not arrange some things for my own swag. <laughs> so like I told you, it's my food tour in Bordeaux and I'm here at La Fabrique. La Fabrique is uh, owned by Chef Emmanuel, so we're going to go in now and um, speak with him. So come with me. Chef Emmanuel get bakery and eatery for the same place but the two of them face different streets. So this is Chef Emmanuel what? and this is La Fabric. See? See? Chef Emmanuel, how long have you been running this place? Uh, two years ago. Since uh, this two years place, ago. Oh no no, this place only uh, uh, quoi, uh, six months? Six oh. months, two months? Two months ago. Yeah, just two months ago? Yes, just two months. Okay, but you've been cooking for how long? Uh, um, uh, for a long time ago. Uh, 13 uh, years ago. 13, 13 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's so yes. cool. So, um, you just moved to this area? Yes. Before now, where were you? Uh, before, uh, I was in, uh, in, the, in the bakery. Oh, in the bakery? Yes. Okay. Plenty of customers they visit this bakery. See us all of them line up. Chef Manu decided to take me around in shop to show me the things where he gets and the things where they do. The bread bread for midnight. For midnight. Oh, you made it in the midnight? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. 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 And these are all for bread. Okay. 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 Three hours. Two or three hours. Yes. Before you transfer it to the oven. Before you transfer it to the oven. Yes. So this is to make the yeast and to turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one. This one. Okay. This is another type of bread. Another bread. So how many bread do you make in a day? One thousand yes. one days. So one day. One day. And, uh, and you said Saturday uh, one thousand. On Saturday, it's 1,200. Only baguette and the this... The French uh, eats bread. No, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's your poire. This one is a special bread? Yes. Every day, if they make 1,000 baguettes, will be the name of their kind of bread. And on Saturday, if they make 1,200 baguettes. This French people don't like bread, Sha. But for the special bread, if they sell 2,500 kg per day. One thing what I don't notice for Europe is say plenty family business boku and then they are very successful with their family businesses. I meet Chef Emmanuel's son, we done they already prepared to take over in Papa Bakery. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. And uh, you love this business? Yes. You like the business? Yes, I like okay. the business. Yes. Alright. And um, you are going to start your own bakery or take over this bakery? Take over this bakery. Take over this bakery. Good. Thank you very much. I meet some of the workers. Stephanie, the pastry chef. I look some of the fresh pastry and all of them look yummy. I meet Theo, the chef where B say he did on internship. Now he say he did learn or he did do IT. He just boiled potato finish and this potato we won't use and do our recipe today. 
As the potato don't boil, next to do not to mash them. I like this device so then they used to mash them so. I like and wear it so I decide to help out. We add cooking milk, butter, mix them till everything blend. Then time to taste. Beautiful. <laughs> Very beautiful. Go on. I could eat this all morning. Really nice. You show me how you take the package this food for customers every day. Come on to plate of the day. Okay. Voila, the menu of the day. Okay. Menu of the day. Oh, pardon. Voilà. Uh, what is this? C'est le veau. C'est le veau. Allez, c'est très bon. C'est young cow. Young cow. Okay. Young cow. Voilà. 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 Okay. And this recipe where it makes so, they always day in menu. Now time to serve. Chef Manuna Grand Swag Master. Shoo! See swag. Oh. <laughs> comme ça, hein? Voilà, very, very nice. And more swag. Uh, wow. And more swag. Voilà, restaurateur, là. Oh, ben, il y a des sauces à vous préparer. Allez, oh là là, c'est rien du tout, ça. Allez, c'est juste pour les deux. And more swag, I beg with my camera. I like Chef Manu. For the two times where I visit him, I see man we get passion for cooking. I see man we get passion for in business and passion for plenty swag. Welcome back and over here I don't already cut my potato of course our um, ingredients of the day today plus our French word of the day today now palm de se literally mean apple for palm de se I don't tell another time say palm mean apple and terre na ground as in soil so palm de tell me apple of the ground but that not a literal meaning but what in it mean na potatoes so I could just add small salt inside here my recipe today na palm de se Ala, I get cherry tomatoes and I get coriander leaves here. I get olives, I spring onion, I get pepper, green pepper, I get carrots, I get onion, I get garlic here with my seasoning cubes. Over here, I get mint here and I get my meat, I get butter, I get white wine, yes, for the sauce, and I get um, cream for the potatoes and vegetable oil for plenty of that things we added to. So, yes, before we do anything, I have to go wash hand, I don't call everything finished. House of style. I am looking good. And I don't need to tell me. I know already. I look good. I look mirror before I enter here. The dress is a beautiful. And I'm banner house of style for FCT Abuja. They are beautiful people. You should you see the way that they call me. Gina, when are you recording? We need to get you some dresses. When I shorts. They are beautiful people. And just in case say, you love this beautiful one again, give them a call and just quote foodies and spice for discounts. Yes, but time to wear the apron now. So while my butter they melt, I'll just chop my spring onion and I'll go dice my mint leaf also. So I'll season the meat with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, for the hollies, once you've done the notice browning for the side of the meat, so you fit on them. So after browning each side, like approximately five minutes, three minutes, maybe two, two minutes on each side. Add like one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Press in two cloves of garlic and your large onion. I don't strain my Irish potatoes and into the pot they go back. So I'll just smash now with my potato masher. And next in my go add and my mint and my red pepper, my spring onion and green pepper. Just like a pinch of oregano, a pinch of rosemary. I'll add like two shots of white wine, any white wine would do as far as I know today, harsh. So once the white wine reduces a bit, you add your water. Two seasoning cubes, salt, more black pepper. At this point you send your meat back in. Okay, for the holics, this is now our mashed potatoes, but you're not finished there. I tell you, say, I get cooking milk here, and for those who know they drink milk, if you use your um, soya milk, I get my milk here. Also, add like three tablespoons of butter. At this point, I'll add my carrots. This our sauce is pretty. I'll add some curry and the paprika. That part what they like. Lovely. This one don't actually simmer down. You see, say the color don't change, and this not due to the paprika. So, for me to get my sauce completely, I need to use my cornstarch. So this is now one teaspoon. If I make them two, okay. Lovely, like very, very lovely. So I'll just cover them. Now I don't mash my potato completely, but the butter and milk I can categorically tell you. So after I don't clean this place, the branded swag now the next meal will go see food done done. For the holics, this is not just doing on top of the swag matter. Lovely, lovely aroma. And of course, my coriander leaves for more swag. Now, I'll just sprinkle the green. And believe me, I don't think you want to <laughs> you want to eat this. Now, just to snap and use take portraits before on top of your house but believe me it's very very beautiful but we go chop them and i get guests so time to eat mm -hmm. 